said news surfaced after Makadze was accused of using money from the Department of Sports and Culture. The new Minister of Sports and Culture, Gayton McKenzie, released a statement in which he stated that Makadze was supported by its department. Before we continue, please subscribe to our channel for more information. Gayton further explained that Makadze also got paid for the services she rendered for the department. She was paid 230000 14 months ago. It's not clear if Gayton is trying to tarnish the name of Makadze or if he is trying to prove that Makadze has been supported by the department. Makadze also went live on Facebook denying that she received any funds from the department. Me and I ever even ate any cent because of they feel like I'm quiet, I can't speak for myself. They take advantage, uh, no one can speak for me, no one can fight for me, and then they have to use me as an example. No, I can't allow that. She even borrowed money from the Mashonisa to pay for a trip to Los Angeles, where she obtained a BET award in 2024. Makadzi is broke because she's paying SARS tax. I'm happy with the nomination. That's why I have to go to Mashonisa and turn out the money, you know. And it's because if I'm real to myself and I, I don't want to live fake life like others. A lot of people think that Gayton McKenzie targeting Makadze is not fair. She worked hard to achieve everything. Recently, Gayton revealed that he wants to expose people who were funded by the Department of Sports and Culture. All of a sudden, the Makadze name surfaced on social media. Parties like AFF condemned the action that the minister took by tarnishing the name of Makadze. It's unfortunate that she was targeted. Makadze also released a statement on Twitter denying that she received funds. She agreed that she was paid for services rendered only. Anyway, it's unfair to target Makadze. That's all for today. Please like, comment and share.